Bonjour. 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 Bonjour! Hi, um, I'm Lizzie. I am our marketing communication specialist at Bright Sellers. And I'm Natalie, and I'm the content marketing intern. And today we are going to teach you guys, hopefully, how to taste wine like the French. Um, it's as close as we're going to get to going to France right now, so I hope this does it for you. I've never been. Have you? Yeah, I've been twice, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be leaning on you for this. Um, so we're going to talk about how to pick wine, how to serve it, and then how to taste it. And we're gonna be featuring our newest French red that is now matching with members in boxes. It is a Bordeaux 2018. Really exciting. Okay, so in France, wine is really meant to be savored, enjoyed slowly, you're not rushing into anything, you're enjoying it with your meal, um, really spending time identifying all the different flavors, and it's just an experience. Exactly, it's all about the experience in France. So the first rule in drinking wine in France is never to just go for the bottle if it's sitting here, as tempting as that may be. Um, we are going to wait for the waiter or the host to pour you a glass, but in this case, I will be the host. You also don't want to start drinking until everyone has a glass poured. And I don't know how heavy they like their pours in France, but I'm going to do what I want. <laughs> Okay, and then finally the toast or cheers, which we'll get more into later, but for now, cheers. 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 So if you have not been to France, which I haven't, um, but I've heard that one thing you should know with wine and with dining is that everything lasts a little bit longer and it's just taken a little bit slower. Mm -hmm, correct. Everything's very slow in France. Um, so most of the time when um, you're going to go have a meal with friends in France, you're going to start with some before dinner drinks. And then while you're at dinner, you're going to have that wine with the meal. You're going to enjoy that. It's going to be that slow paced feeling. And then afterwards, you're usually going to have that liqueur after um, the meal as well, which you slip slowly, you enjoy it and just, just have a good conversation with friends. I love that. I need to go to France. <laughs> The next part is kind of how do you choose the right wine for your meal? That's always something that I've always kind of struggled with. Yeah, just in general, yeah. it can be really hard. I think I would say if you're in France, if you have the luxury of, of living there or being able to go there, if you live there, you don't need this video. <laughs> um, but if you're traveling to France, um, I think it would be a great idea to pick something locally grown in that region because the general rule with pairing wine and food is what grows together goes together. So for us, since we're not in France, you have to think about it a little bit differently. Um, we can't think about region, but we can think about the type of food. So if you're eating heavy red meats, definitely a red wine would be good. What about a white wine? What would pair well? Um, I would have to say like escargot snails. Oh yeah, yeah. that's perfect. They're actually really good. I'm I've, not good I've never tried had it. them. Okay, <laughs> we'll see. Um, otherwise, you could also think about the season too. So if it's summer, a light white wine or a rosé is always going to fit a little bit better, whereas a red is really nice and hearty and warm in the cooler months. Okay, so this has been really fun. Yeah. I know that neither of us are experts. You have a little <laughs> bit more experience with France than I do, um, but super interesting. I love all the customs that go along with the dining and the drinking in France and taking things slowly, really enjoying the whole experience. So I guess now that we know how to pick out wine and how to properly enjoy it, we should end with a final toast. Yes, of course. Okay. So let's say a votre santé, which means to your health. A, vo a votre santé. Yes. Okay. A votre santé.